So if we look at the first generation of telepresence, it was an amazing transform, transformational experience. But I think it's safe to say that it was largely focused on larger organizations and a relatively small number of users within those organizations. As we look to the future of where we're taking telepresence, it really is about building a community. A community both within the four walls of an organization, but also extending outside of those walls to their customers, their partners, as well as their suppliers. And it's this community that we ultimately believe is gonna be what accelerates the growth opportunity for telepresence and allows video to essentially become the next voice. So it will no longer be an application that just a few use, it will be an application that everyone has access to and people are beginning to integrate into the very way that they live their lives and the way in which they do business. We also believe that this is a, gonna be a significant driver of future growth. If I, as a user of telepresence, now have a much larger base of people that I can communicate with, it's gonna add more value to the investments that I've made in the technology and it's gonna give me greater access and more people to be able to communicate with. So essentially a much larger pool of people who will be able to share what we call in-person experiences. To put a number on this, as of today, approximately 50 million people every month use Cisco collaboration technologies at their place of work. We really believe the future of telepresence is harnessing that existing community bringing them together, enabling them to use video to communicate in a different way, but also using that as the foundation to significantly expand the community of people that can share these in-person experiences. So there's really three areas that I'm gonna walk you through that we are specifically driving towards to build this concept of community. The first one involves driving telepresence from what had previously been a boardroom experience with our three screen product, down to the desktop, and even beyond the desktop to mobile devices. And this is an incredibly important area for us because we're seeing these shifts within our larger customers where they've had very good experiences initially with telepresence, and now they're driving those, those deployments much deeper into their organization because they believe that they can have an even more transformational impact on their business. The second area is how do we extend telepresence to companies of all sizes? You know, companies don't exist within isolation. They are part of ecosystems. And those ecosystems include other large organizations, but they also include medium-sized businesses as well as small businesses spanning across the entire globe. And so Cisco's doing a tremendous amount of work to really make sure that telepresence as an experience is now available through multiple different deployment models to companies of all sizes. And the third area, and this is the area I actually have the most passion about, is telepresence started largely around a use case of how do I optimize the meeting experience? And it's still the principal way that people use the technology. But moving forward, you're seeing a lot more energy around how do you take telepresence beyond the traditional meeting? How do you integrate it into the way that a doctor from a distance is able to provide medical consultation to a patient at their bedside? So this is an area where honestly, we have taken a horizontal technology and we're working with our customers and through our partners to harness the creativity of all of us to come up with innovative ideas as to how we can apply telepresence in very unique ways that offer significant business value. So if we specifically look at this concept of going from the boardroom to the desktop and beyond, what you're seeing here is a picture of, of the first product we launched five years ago. This is our CTS 3000. CTS 3000 was an amazing, amazing experience and it really sort of continues to live at, at the apex of our overall portfolio. But what we've done over the last several years is we've augmented this particular product with a whole bunch of other solutions. So we now have multi-purpose products that allow us to take any conference room, big, small, and essentially convert it into a telepresence room. We just launched a product recently, which is called our MX200. It is an integrated system that from taking it out of the box, setting it up, and placing your first call, we have people who have been able to do that in less than five minutes. 
So these are examples of not only do we make the technology incredibly easy to use for the end consumer, but even for IT and for people who have to manage the deployments of telepresence, we want to make sure this technology is as simple as possible for them to install, provision, and manage on an ongoing basis. Another area where we've seen tremendous growth is driving telepresence all the way down to the desktop. So we have our EX60s, our EX90s. These are products that allow an individual in their own office to have a telepresence experience. And it's unearthed a whole bunch of additional use cases, whether it's one-on-ones with your employees, whether it's one-on-ones with your senior manager. It's just an amazing way for people to go from using telepresence for an hour or two every day to literally being able to use telepresence for four to six hours. I mean, this is exactly what I do with my team, which is spread across the world is I'm now from the comfort of my office able to have high quality telepresence experiences. The other critical thing is how do we expand beyond just telepresence to more broadly include any video enabled endpoint? Cisco has by far the most extensive portfolio of video enabled endpoints in the entire industry. And now we're able to allow people that are using WebEx on PCs, on Macs, they're using our Jabber client, they're using IP video phones. They're using the CS. These people are all now able to also participate in telepresence. So it's no longer an exclusive experience to the few. It's a democratized experience to the many. And there's, there's many, many endpoints that are now able to participate in this. So whether a person is in a conference room, they're in their office, or they're on the road, they're all now able to participate in telepresence. And we believe that that is a critical, critical enabler to the continued growth and utilization of the technology. The other area is, while we would love for our customers to use Cisco telepresence all of the time, the reality is that there's other people in the marketplace that we compete against. And so Cisco is the leader in driving standards and utilizing those standards in such a way that we can talk to any third-party endpoint that abides by common standards. So this is just another example of how we build community, not only within Cisco's portfolio, but also extending even to our competitors to deliver to our customers the best possible experience. The second area that I really want to go into is this concept of how do I take telepresence, which has once again been largely the domain of larger organizations, and deliver it to even small businesses. When we first started this business, our principal deployment model was an on-premise infrastructure deployment. And so on-premise is really great for larger organizations because they can customize it. It's got lots of flexibility. It's got tremendous capability to integrate into your broader collaboration portfolio. We were able to augment that initial deployment model through our partnerships with service providers. So we now have 14 service providers across the world who are utilizing our technology to deliver their own hosted services to their end customers. And this is a compelling offering for many end customers because oftentimes they don't want to manage their own telepresence deployment. They would rather essentially outsource it to a service provider. The third area that we've just begun to go into in the last couple months is an area where we have our own hosted service that is called Callway. And Callway is part of an offer that we have targeted towards small and medium-sized businesses. And the essentials around here is that a small, medium business would be able to select from our portfolio of endpoints, and then they would be able to choose a subscription option to the Callway service that would deliver them a authentic telepresence experience, but it would be managed on Cisco's behalf and resold through our channel partners. So this business model, this deployment model, is incredibly attractive to small businesses because it delivers a fantastic experience to them, but it does not put them in a position where they have to be responsible for managing it, and it delivers it in a way that they're paying an ongoing fee, a subscription to use this, as opposed to paying for it all up front, which for small businesses is tr traditionally more of a challenge from an economic perspective. So these three business models, what it allows us to do now is to literally cover the entire marketplace, from the very, very largest Fortune 50 organizations down to small and medium-sized businesses. And the ability now for all of these groups to be able to participate is we can grow that community, 
we can provide choice to our customers, and we can accelerate growth of the overall business of telepresence, creating more opportunities for our partners. So we believe that this is a significant step forward in how Cisco is able to deliver telepresence uh, on a global basis in a flexible set of deployment models. 